this is the GSR down here at Riviera Beach on trick-or-treating. Fabulous weather, like we could not ask for better. Our seagull friends are not here because I'm afraid we forgot their crackers. That's how we bribe them. But the lake does look beautiful. It's a great fall day. We are here on and with. It is Sunday afternoon, October 27, 2019. I'm Lisa Otto with John Lubkowski and the Geneva Show Report. Good afternoon. And maybe I was thinking, John, maybe it's a good thing we do not have food for the seagulls because we have a lot of people out and about. There are so still a ton of people out. We still have a little time left for trick or treating. I believe like another half an hour or so before it is done for the year. So. <laughs> So yeah, that's been going on all afternoon and what perfect weather. Right now we have 60 degrees here in Lake Geneva, but here at the lake, um, right by the water, it feels more like 56, 57 degrees, but still beautiful, lots of sunshine, no rain, and you couldn't ask for a better trick or treat no. day. Even the really breeze couldn't. doesn't feel as yeah. cold this afternoon. And right now we have a breeze coming off the lake out of the south at, oh that sun is wonderful. Six and a half miles an hour is the highest I got right Not now. Not bad. So yeah, just a lovely breeze. If you are more inland, it feels even warmer. However, in the shade, it does feel a little cool. But but not too bad. I mean, come on now, it's trick or treat the end of October and and you can walk around without a heavy jacket on and the kids are able to show off their costumes. And, and it's gonna be much better today than it will be the rest of the week. Yeah. The rest of the week, we have some cooler temps coming in. I believe tomorrow, Monday, will be the warmest day of the week with a high of 44 degrees. That sounds so I sad. Know, and lots of clouds, so, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> hopefully no, hopefully no winter weather. She said weather. the word again. I know, <laughs> hopefully no winter weather will, um, be an issue this coming week. I believe it's all going to dissipate before it even gets here and even if it does it's going to just be a very minimal blink your eye and you're going to miss it kind of event. Well Fingers I have crossed. a question. Okay. Most of the gauge boats are gone except for one so I wonder if they're on tours or are they getting what ready for that right, winter good weather. Question, good question Jen. I believe they're out on tour. I think so too because they usually go until right. the beginning of November. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they usually go into November and with the weather we're having, there's no reason why they can't. And that's, I mean, look at that. All, they must be doing well because there's only one there. Yeah. So, okay. I think so too. Yeah, I agree. So, we did have, like I said, trigger retreat going on today. However, the residential areas here in the city of Lake Geneva were very, very busy. Downtown was very busy as well, but I'm not sure what the participate participation was. How do you say it? Participation? Yeah, of the businesses. I'm not sure how many really did participate. I don't think didn't. a lot did. I don't think it was a ton, and I think they were very like you went to one, maybe they were um, involved, and then you didn't get another one for a few doors. Like, so, like I think it was. Yeah. I have to say it. My kids loved the hot chocolate at Starbucks. Yes. I did not make it that far because not enough businesses were involved. So we ended up turning around. Kind of a dead end. The residential. <laughs> so I did not make that far, but you went to, I was trick or treating in the residential area. So you went to the Geneva Lake Museum and that we was did. fabulous. It right? was a blast. They had their different rooms and displays and they dressed up the mannequins in like costumes yeah. and masks. All the workers were dressed up and it was just perfect for the kids because they were contained music. yes and they it. had the lights dim so yeah. it was spooky but not scary love it they had love a great it. turnout they do and the tuesday at two this week is going to coordinate with Halloween yeah and like the that. myths of lake geneva i'm actually really excited i, I kind of want to see it i know i think we should stop in too. i think we should the because sea I've, creature i've heard about the sea creature of lake Shiva, but not the the thunderbird. thunderbird that comes in with the storms it kind of that. plays off from the ghost walk it more yeah. focuses more on the creatures not the spirit okay well i want to find out more about this yeah so we're gonna have to check that out and share that with everyone and after today well it's back to business tomorrow's monday morning city council meeting at city hall 6 p.m 
So we will be there. We'll be sharing that with you. And then no more meetings for us the week. So that's um, very quiet, very quiet and relaxing. Yeah. But we do have some <laughs> Halloween events still coming up on Halloween, which is Thursday this week. So the Avant Coffee and Bike Shop will be doing a little um, tiger or treat event, triker treat event. So they're going to take kids and the parents as well if they want to come. Um, costumes are encouraged. They're going to go to a few different businesses, get some treats, a little activities, and then they're going to go to the fire department on Marshall Street, and there'll be a little something there for um, the kids to enjoy, and then they'll walk back and they'll have hot cocoa and refreshments, of course, at Avant. So just a, another fun event here in Lake Geneva, and we look forward to sharing that with you as well. Other than that, we're going to wrap it up and enjoy the rest of our trick-or-treat day here in Lake Geneva. So we'll see you tomorrow morning with more weather, road, and news reports. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lepkowski. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye. Bye.